what are some of the common types of repairs for these? Um, the biggest things to watch out for that could be very expensive for you are going to be roof repairs. Um, if it's a metal roof versus a shingle roof, it can get very expensive. Um, it also can be harder to fix if it's a metal roof, especially if there's dips and valleys. Um, you wouldn't think that. You'd think, oh, we'll just throw tar over it, but water starts to sit in those dips and valleys, and it'll seep through if it's not done correctly. You could do a roof over, yes, but that's a lot, lot of more expense. In fact, I would much rather prefer doing shingles with wood <laughs> and having to fix the wood decking underneath it than having to deal with um, some of the tin roof issues that we've run into. There are ways to do it. Um, those are some things that we're, we're still perfecting in some cases, but most of the cases we've got a really good um, working uh, process that we use to be able to rectify those issues. But um, roof issues end up being one of the bigger ones. Uh, also siding. Uh, we just recently came across a mobile home where the siding was put on incorrectly and basically it exposed it so that all the water was coming in to via the siding and it was actually affecting the walls as well as also the floors and rotting those out. So um, if you have roof leaks that end up going for too long to, and end up being too, too big of a, uh, they can become a very big nightmare that can end up issuing or causing water to go down into the walls which will go down into the floors. Um, cutting up floors uh, as far as cutting out pieces of wood um, for the, the flooring and, and soft spots, not a big deal. We've refined and honed in that process, so for us that's not a big deal. That is something to be aware of, typically in your areas of moisture, um, your bathrooms, around toilets, around tubs, or in front of tubs, beside tubs, um, in front of showers, behind showers, alongside showers, um, as well as also washer and dryer area, uh, specifically where the washer is sitting. Um, anytime you have a, a sink, right, so whether it's in a bathroom, whether it's in a kitchen, um, we've had uh, tubs that have leaked, okay, so the tub surround ends up being bad and it leaks, that's another thing that's caused issues. Uh, dishwashers that have gone bad where they are leaking or the plumbing coming through there or garbage disposals that have gone bad, those are additional issues. Um, some of the co other common types of repairs that we come across are awnings put in on incorrectly or not clocked prop properly, and so it actually starts to drip back in or leak back into the house or into the siding in between the two. Um, very common are broken windows, um, servicing uh, furnaces. Um, we've only had to replace a few um, few units. We've got maybe maybe four or five that we've replaced over the years. A lot of times we can take care of bits and pieces parts of it and get you know clean it out and get it running really well um, hot water heaters from time to time will go out so that's a kind of a common uh, type of repair um, step issues where they have water damage um, skirting a lot of times skirting gets chewed up and has issues sometimes you're going to have um, like the hardy plank board on the side if there's been water damage uh, a lot of times you'll have warping or discoloring of that um, so that's another one that, that we've run into quite a bit um, if it's a swamp cooler area so evaporative cooler in some cases so it's called typically your warmer climates is where you're going to find those rather than AC units um, a lot of times those have a tendency to leak uh, pretty aggressively um, anytime you have a flu or some sort of pipes going up through the roof and if it's not sealed correctly that's another area so those are some of the the more common if you will types of repairs that you're going to come across a lot of times um, you know the ones that we try to avoid are the ones where it's a complete new roof um, unless it makes sense um, or you have the expertise I've got a, a my business partner who one of my business partners who's a contractor um, with me as a construction business with me has got it dialed in and it's no big deal we've got to figure out what the costs are we buy it right and we can turn around and resell it for a nice profit because it's a home that most other people would buy and the homeowner doesn't typically the mobile home owner typically does not have the ability or the financial ability or the know-how to rectify that issue and so in a lot of cases that gives us an opportunity too um, but some of the other ones when you're first getting started to avoid would be major roof issues minor roof leaks are no big deal but major ones can be a problem. So major roof leaks, um, if you have a mobile home, that this is another thing I, I, I forgot to talk about, but another one to avoid would be unleveled 
uh, mobile home, a mo mobile home that is not level anymore. Um, Re-leveling of that can be very expensive. Um, furnaces can get costly depending on the type of system and the way the ducting works. Um, anytime you have uh, major siding issues, in a lot of cases if you're completely taking off siding and had to put new on, especially if you have porches and decks and, and uh, carports and awnings and things like that, it can get expensive to remove and put those the, the stuff new stuff back on and then reattach everything. Um, it might be cost prohibitive. Um, so those are some of the ones that I would say, some of the big ones to look to avoid. Big ones, just r major roof issues, major, major roof issues, major fascia issues, um, and then uh, a furnace, and then re-leveling. Those are some of the bigger ones.